So let me start off with what I really enjoyed about this movie. Don't Worry Darling certainly has its star power and knows how to leverage it quite well. There's not one bad performance that I found in this movie, and the leads of Florence Pugh and Harry Styles really elevate the experience and make it worth watching, but they can only carry that burden so far because this movie, I had a really hard time sitting all the way through to the very end. Having said that, those two leads performing well as a lot of the side characters, including the likes of Chris Pine, Olivia Wilde, who directs the entire experience as well as stars in it, they all work well together in tandem and it really feels as though that their performances could give this movie a chance but ultimately can't get it past the finish line and out of everyone i gotta say that florence Pugh is obviously the standout this girl is just having the time of her life and acting right now she's one of the world's biggest stars between her appearances in black widow things like midsommar now this movie she's really got some momentum going and i hope she continues to carry that throughout her career harry styles as well as her husband plays off of her quite well in their chemistry i thought was pretty solid the guy is showing that he's a multiple threat talent including singing, dancing, and acting. I think he can do it all, and I haven't quite seen a talent like him since Justin Timberlake. And I actually think he might be a bit of a better actor than Justin Timberlake was, but I'd have to go back and watch some of his other movies in order to confirm that. And additionally, I thought this movie had some really high production value. This isn't Olivia Wilde's first directing film. She has directed a few movies before. She's done a pretty good job from what I understand, so she knows how to direct a movie and make it look great. And this movie really does look great on all accounts. It's got all the makings of a solid movie, it just really falls flat in its writing and execution, which is a shame. But you can tell really good, solid work was thrown into this movie. It's just not if it really came to fruition. And one thing that really surprised me in this movie, I thought it actually had some really disturbing imagery. This movie picks its points actually to be kind of frightening, and it's really effective when it does hit those points. Well, I actually thought to myself, like, I wonder if this is going to be partially a horror movie because of these brief moments of disturbing imagery. Of course, that doesn't take over the movie that much, but it's still really effective in the moments that it was on screen. Like when I saw these obscure faces appear on screen in really rapid succession. I'm like, this is the stuff of nightmares right here. And it was one of the highlights of the movie for me. And I will say, at least in the first act of this movie, before it wears out its welcome, there is some strong tension building at the beginning. The movie does a great job of slowly introducing interesting elements and gets you to ask some questions about what's going on within this community. But the only problem is you can only build tension for so long before it gets old and it feels like it's never, the bubble's just never going to burst. You can only build tension so long before it's just gets old and you kind of check out and that's what happened for me in this movie when 90 percent of your movie is tension and the 10 percent is payoff uh, it just feels exasperating and exhausting